Baby, it's hot outside around the globe. There's a historic heat wave with temperatures reaching record highs, and that's causing all sorts of problems, including in the ocean. Experts say that explains why sea lions, usually gentle creatures, have been going on the attack, something this team found out firsthand. Lisa Guerrero reports. Drama on the beach after a 14 year old is bitten. It was kind of like following me, maybe going in for another bite. So I had to spin around and push it back. But Dane Blair wasn't attacked by a shark. It was a sea lion. The sea lion was actually attached to your bottom. Yes. <laughs> This is, this is like the wildest thing ever. Sea lion attacks are on the rise. We have a friend. Look what happened um, off Redondo Beach, California this week. But experts say normally placid sea lions are turning crazy due to a neurotoxin in the ocean that's causing serious brain damage. Here in Dana Point, California, there have been several reports of sea lions biting surfers in the water. Lifeguards have been warning beachgoers to keep their distance from any sea lions they discover on the shoreline. There's a distressed sea lion in the ocean. He's obviously very sick. Animal rescue services are overwhelmed with calls about sick sea lions. Many of these animals are thought to have permanent brain damage. They can be quite aggressive. An unusually severe toxic algae bloom off the coast is to blame, and the global heat wave is making it worse. There's no relief in sight. Most of the planet is sweltering under a historic heat wave. Every day this week, the average temperature on Earth has been the hottest ever recorded. This map shows rocketing temperatures across the globe. Watch out for those sea lions. And there's a lot of them. It's estimated there are more than 300,000 sea lions living on California's Pacific Coast.